Making a steam plant using three Cotswold Heritage steam engines. This is part one. Thinking about the steam plant layout and test running the steam engines using compressed air. On the screen at the moment are the three steam engines that I'm going to use in the project. Two vertical engines and one horizontal. And as this is going to be a gas fired steam plant, here is the gas tank. And here is the boiler. Most of the parts for the steam plant are made by a company called Cotswold Heritage. And these are all factory built models. And here's the hand pump to fill the boiler. I really do like the design of these hand pumps, they're very chunky. I think this is going to be the approximate position for the major components. But I also need to construct a water tank and a condenser oil trap. The two pieces of copper tubing currently in the picture are too big. I'm going to get some smaller ones. This is the main gas jet that fits in the burner inside the boiler. Unfortunately, the pipe's a bit too short to connect the gas tank to the boiler in this installation. And here are three displacement lubricators, one for each engine. This is a dummy governor that was fitted to the aerial engine, and it was already broken off when the engine arrived. The engine was delivered in person by the owner, so it wasn't damaged in the post. Here's a close-up of the governor, and as you can see, it's a non-functional governor. It's a lost wax casting. It should be easy enough to repair. It's time now to examine the steam engines, and the first one is called an aerial. This is an overhead crankshaft engine, and it's very nice indeed, very well made, very well painted, very well finished. The overall appearance of the engine is good, and by the look of it, I don't think this engine's done much running. This is evident by the black oil on the piston rod. When running new steam engines, you generally get this black oil on parts, but after a while, as you run in, or break in the engine, this black oil disappears. It can, however, be a sign that something is misaligned. To start with, I'm going to wipe off all the black oil residue and re-oil the engine because I'm going to run it. And for the lubrication, I'm using my ordinary lubricating oil that I make up myself. And the formula is as follows. I've mentioned this in many videos, but one more time won't hurt. 50% 1000 grade steam oil, 25% 3 in 1 machine oil, and 25% rapeseed oil, which is also known as canola oil. The engine doesn't feel tight at all. Everything moves up and down and round and round just as it should. I'm making sure that all of the moving parts of the engine get a liberal application of my oil mixture. I'm probably applying a little bit too much, but in my opinion, you can never have enough oil on a steam engine. So here we go. Well, it seems to run okay. It's quite powerful. It's a bit of a knocker, but then again, it is stood on my soundboard. I don't know if anyone's noticed, but I put a new board on my workbench. This is a large melamine board, six feet long by two feet wide. And this piece of melamine is mounted on blocks on the bench. So it's a hollow soundboard. As you can see in this clip, the black residue is coming back, but it doesn't seem as bad as the previous black residue. During the construction of this steam plant, you will see a lot of these engines running. So hopefully they will all be broken in or run in by the time the steam plant is finished. I'll stop talking for a while so you can just listen to the engine running. Sometimes very well built steam engines will knock if the valve timing is retarded, but the valve timing on this engine seems to be okay. This is the centerpiece of the steam plant, and now the one to the left. This is also a vertical type steam engine, but it's quite a lot smaller than the aerial. And wait for it, this one is called an ISIS. And possibly with the current state of the world, I think it would be a good idea if Cotswold Heritage renamed this engine. Originally, Isis was the name of an Egyptian goddess, but these days, sadly, it means something else. I'll leave it there on this subject. Whatever this steam engine is currently called, it still needs oiling. As usual, I'm giving it a good coating of oil. Time to see how this one runs. Well, it's very wheezy. I'm not sure what's going on here. I'll pump some more oil into it. 
and as you can see I'm pumping oil into the exhaust port because you can do that but you do need to rotate the engine in reverse to suck the oil into the steam chest. Despite having plenty of oil in the steam chest and the cylinder the engine is still a bit wheezy. Have a listen to it I'll turn the volume up. The third engine of the trio is called a Perseus and as we all know Perseus is part of Greek mythology and he was responsible for cutting the head off Medusa the Gorgon. Which I thought was a bit unkind really, there she was sat in a cave just minding her own business, quietly turning anyone who wandered into her cave into stone, well, just like anybody would. And then along comes Perseus with a great big sword and hacks her head off. And he didn't even have the courage to look her in the face while he was doing it, he had to look through a mirror. As I don't think mirrors had been invented at that time, he just polished up his shield so he could see his face in it, or Medusa's face. The engine's been oiled, I've connected the compressed air and off it goes. I think I'll run this engine in slow motion for a while to let the video play out. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.